tell you no one It wasn't nothing but a hound dog He was crying all the time Oh, he never caught a rabbit And he weren't no friend of mine and we're part of uh, a July 4th mm -hmm. event here in Sedona. Sure, the committee. Yeah, you know, a whole lot of people are part of it. And Dan wanted to do some, of course he sang Elvis tunes. We all know that, right? And that was perfect, by the way. Because <laughs> that was like, no, the Dan sang. So it was really fun. Really good voice. And uh, Dan was the, uh, <laughs> he'd get on Skype and it was like, what are you now? Like you all will, you all will appreciate this who know him well. We we went to dinner or we went to lunch at a at a new restaurant down in Phoenix. Surprise, surprise, going where there's food. <laughs> and um, and it was an exceptionally good restaurant. They they were doing southern cooking and it was really good. And he asked the chef to come out because he wanted to acknowledge the chef and and tell him how how great the meal was. And he looked up at the chef and he said, I just have to tell you, this was the most amazing culinary orgasm I have ever had. <laughs> 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 and I thought the chef was going to turn, and he was, he was a big black man and I, he turned 50 shades of red and you could see it on him. <laughs> Sorry. I think we're the virgins of the group, but we've known Dan for about two years now and um, he basically walked into our restaurant 
and um, wanted to try just a regular cheese pizza because he knows his food and he'll tell us whether it's good or not. <laughs> um, I don't think a day went by that he didn't walk in to have food, or at least to say hi. I've eaten somewhere else, sorry, but I still wanted to say hi. Um, we heard the culinary orgasm several times, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> um, Dan was a good person. Daniel, I'm sorry, that's how he introduced himself to us, so everybody here calling him Dan just sounds weird. Um, he touched the lives of many, and I think we're all going to miss him very, very much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next. <laughs> met him through Johnny, and uh, uh, he was a, a, a wonderful person, a wonderful sense of humor, loving, giving, caring, great person. And I wish I could have known him longer, but boy, I feel fortunate to have got to meet him and spend time uh, with him. We'll go with that, John. I met Dan and Steve at the Radio Shack over by Safeway mm -hmm. when I first got here in 1995. And he, uh, he and I had, uh, struck a friendship right away, mostly through comedy. And... Uh, that's the way uh, we conducted our friendship. So everybody know anybody who knows Dan knew it was comedy hour. He had these characters, these personas he would do from the uh, Abdul. 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 I don't even know what I met him. I think it was through Kalia, maybe four or five years ago. And um, I had a radio show for two years on Sedona Talk Radio. And we've had many food orgasms together. <laughs> <laughs> and I've swooned over Elvis. So, you know, all you had to do is just close your eyes and you know you're right there in the room with Elvis singing. And, um, I was dating yeah. someone and they were really close friends and uh, Dan, uh, we worked on the website together, became really close. Um, Dan was also in the Navy, if you guys didn't know, and I was a Marine, so he like he always said that, you know, the Marines were the Department of the Navy, and I always said that, you know, the Marines were the, the men's Department of the Navy, so we went back and forth a lot. But <laughs> great guy, and he's a good uh, My name is Crystal Lane. Um, I just met Dan about a year and a half ago. I'm his great niece. Um, we didn't, oh. yeah, have a lot of time to get to know each other, but I was definitely awestruck by his personality and his talent. It was amazing. Um, he actually came down to see my graduation in November, wow. so it hasn't been that long, but it was really good to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and so I went with him, Daniel. We were instant brother and sister, and he sang he Elvis had for me. We had an hour conversation right at this table, and um, he had a woman sitting next to him, which I assumed was his wife, and when she got up and she said goodbye and she was leaving, I said to Dan, isn't that your wife? And he said, why, are you interested? 